I got too many clothes, but I love them all. I gotta stop shopping sales at the mall. Yesterday morning when I took a look in my closet, I almost burst a vein. Yeah, I mean, I almost lost it because there are just too many possible outfits to choose. Like, should I wear these jeans or should I wear this jumpsuit? And yes, I know these are all first world problems, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't use some code to solve them. <laughs> Hello, long time no see. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I'm Kelsey Makes Things, and today I'm going to use code to pick my outfits. Basically, I wrote this program that matches tops and bottoms and jackets and shoes, and this started off kind of as an experiment, but then I saw the outfits that I was choosing and I thought it was actually working pretty well. So yeah, wanted to share how I made this. So without further ado, let's dive in. So every day I wake up and then I stand in front of my closet for like two minutes. And then after those two minutes, I have probably thought of an outfit and then I go put it on. And usually it's just like a normal mediocre outfit. And I've come to realize that those normal mediocre outfits that I choose follow like a certain set of rules. And I was like, I think this can definitely be algorithmized. <laughs> anyway, this is all the code that I ended up writing for it. And uh, let me explain what it does. So most of the time I'm wearing like a very similar set of items. I'm wearing like a shirt and then some pants or jeans and then a coat or a jacket and then shoes. And so these are the pieces that my program is going to pick out for me. And what I did is I went to my closet and then I took a picture of like every single item that I wanted to enter into this program. And then I labeled each piece with some attributes, like how warm they are, uh, how comfortable they are, if they're fancy or not, etc. And then I put these all into a closet file. And then the main engine of this code is going to read from this closet file. Okay, I brought some props. So the main engine is going to take all the tops that I have in my closet and it's going to put it on top of the stack. And so let's pretend these are all the uh, tops that I own. So it's gonna put it on the stack. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to start popping off the top item from the stack. So it's gonna take this shirt and then it's going to evaluate whether or not this satisfies some outfit policy, which is like a set of rules that I'll explain later. And if it does, then we're going to set it aside and say this is the shirt we wanna use for now. And then it's going to add all the bottoms onto the stack. Then it's going to do the same thing. It's going to pop off the top item from the stack and it's going to evaluate this in combination with the shirt that we picked and see if that satisfies the outfit policy still. And let's say it doesn't. So then we're going to, <laughs> so then we're going to go to the next pair of bottoms on the stack and then evaluate whether this passes the outfit policy. Let's say it does. So then we're gonna take these jeans aside and we're gonna say, let's use this for now. And then we're going to add all the jackets, pop off the top jacket from the stack. And let's say this works with these two. So then we add the shoes, pop off the top shoe. And let's say in combination, they satisfy the outfit policy. And so then this will be the final outfit that the program gives you. And this is going to be what you wear for the day. So yeah, if you're familiar with computer science at all, you might actually recognize that as like iterative depth first search, depth first search that is so hard to say and the funny thing is i totally did not intend this at all when i was making this algorithm i was just thinking like how do i come up with outfits in my mind and it was like this crazy cool moment when i realized that basically i look at it as a dfs problem and every node is like a clothing piece and i can backtrack until i find an outfit that like completes the path uh, or satisfies the outfit policy it's pretty cool and um, i've been talking a lot about this outfit policy so let me explain what that is the outfit policy is a set of rules that every single outfit that comes out of this algorithm has to follow. And so the required rules for this policy are one, the color policy. There can be a maximum of one color other than neutral colors. And I define neutral colors as being these colors. And the reason I have this is so that you won't have like clashing colors because you're either having neutrals or that one color. And the second rule is the silhouette rule, which is that either the top or the bottom can be loose, but not both. And this is to create like some sort of flattering silhouette. So these are the required rules, but I also have these optional rules. 
which I can specify by passing in some input when I run this program. So these optional rules are the outfit must be at some warmth level that I specify, or it must be at or above some comfort level. It must have all fancy pieces and it must contain some specific piece that I pick. Okay, now you have all the context behind this program, so let's just run it and see what we get. So this is just a command line program, so I can just open up my terminal and then this is how I run it. Um, I have all these optional arguments, and so let's set some of them. Today it's not too cold, so we'll say warmth level 2, and then I'm down to wear something fancy. Yeah, why not? And I really want to wear these with some specific pants. So let's say my uh, Aritzia green pants, which I recently bought for way too much money. So cool, let's see what it comes up with. Okay, that's going to be my outfit. That's how this program works. And let me just put it on. The RV. <laughs> so this is the outfit. I have these black shoes and then my pants that I specified I wanted. And then I have this little black crop top moment and then this leather jacket. Uh, I rather like this outfit. I feel like a mafia boss or something. Um, but I would hope that I like this outfit because it follows my outfit policy, which is basically a definition of my style. So if you want to use this program, but you have a different style, you can change up the outfit policy and it can just be like infinitely customizable in that way. I found a lot of really cool outfits through this program. And so let me show you some of them. You see here, kid? You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes after or what came before. You just gotta bend your knees, take a deep breath, and jump. And you might think, what if I fall? Well, what if you don't? What if you fly? I hope you like this video. I had a ton of fun making this program because I love combining computer science with some of my other interests. And it's just like the most exciting thing to me to solve like one of my own problems with code. And if you're interested, you can totally modify the code of this. Um, you can change the closet file to match your closet. You could change the outfit policy to match your personal style like I kind of discussed before or you could even like make a UI so that you don't have to run this through the command line and you can like click buttons or something. I don't know, the possibilities are endless. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.